Good afternoon to you. Some news out of Berea, much better than a day ago. All of the Browns COVID tests for today came back negative for the players and the coaches. Kevin Stefanski, who tested positive yesterday, also addressed the media, said he is very involved in the game planning remotely. Uh, Brown's facility is still closed due to that contact tracing, uh, but they are getting to work on the game planning. Kevin Stefanski will be involved, and he has all the confidence in the world in Mike Prefer as the acting head coach for the Browns playoff game. Yes, uh, you know, I got my setup here. I got all the tape I need um, or, you know, we meet virtually anyway as a staff uh, to put game plans together. So again, that's very much business as usual. And then when we do get in the building and have a practice, obviously Coach Prefer will, will run that. Thank you, Daryl. Dan Lobby has our next question. Hey coach, kind of sticking with that thing about Coach Prefer running practice, even though you can be involved, are there certain situations where you might step aside and, and let him handle some things you might just because he'll be the voice on, on the sideline on Sunday night? Uh, I think the players understand, Dan, uh, that it really doesn't matter uh, who's the head coach on, on Sunday. We, they, uh, they know how we play. They know what our identity is. Uh, coach Preef will be the guy on Sunday. Uh, I have a ton of confidence in them. I know they do as well. Uh, he's a voice that they hear every day. I mean, every single day, Coach Brief has uh, special teams going. So uh, I think they have a, a great amount of trust in him as well as do I. Kevin Stefanski addressing the Cleveland media earlier today. We will have the latest on the Browns situation uh, at 6 o'clock. More sports and less Levine. The D-man, Dennis Maniloff, and I will have there. Stay on Cleveland.com and check in at 6 o'clock for more sports and less Levine.